vegetable. episode 109 of my series where I try to play Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, play uh, not Norway, but the towns, cities and urban areas of Norway. There we go, to a GeoGuessr score of 25,000 points each. Today we have made it to the town of Breivik, yet another town on the south coast. Just a slight jump up from Riesur. And, um, well, technically, if you want to follow the definitions of the Central Bureau of Statistics, uh, Breivik is part of the Sheen and Porskudun urban area, but I decided I would make it a separate entity in this series. It's a small town with about 3,000 people. It uh, was, uh, was given a merchant charter in 1680. Um, or a port charter, rather, in 1680, and became a, well, I got its town charter in 1845. It was uh, a significant shipping harbor for ice, of all things, and, um, and uh, lumber. And it's considered one of the best man man kept and maintained towns from the sail ship era of Norway. So, should be interesting to see if any of the 79 locations will take us proper downtown. Uh, and I've never been to Breivik. The closest I've been is just driving here across the bridge on the old E18. And that's it, really. So, let's go have a look at Breivik. So, there are roughly 3,000 people living in Breivik. So, it's not a very... Oh, no! Dum, dum. Okay, if I get within 50 meters on this one, that will be a miracle. Oh no, no, no. But okay, let's see if we can triangulate a little bit. So we got a couple of houses over there, if we are able to identify them to the south. We got a church over there, almost to the southwest. And the church is here on this little island. So let's see. Um, so those things over there are probably these. Meaning this stuff are those. And then we got a couple of houses behind that. I'm going to guess that this one is that. And we're looking pretty much at the back of it. Let's see. So Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. So that one is this red thing over here. And we are looking slightly west of that. Let's say almost parallel to the street. And then we'll just plonk the marker up for now. Okay, going on. Here we are looking in here, I believe. And now comes the hard part. Identifying these buildings in there. But okay, um, so we have something down 
on the seat over there. These things must be those over there. That stuff must be down here. Mm. We've got a fairly large building over there. somewhere. I wish I could see the piers. Um, I wonder if these might be that. Let's say that we're looking straight into the... I want to be able to identify a building. Let's see, we got some boat houses over here. And there's a little promontory leading into the bay as well. Okay. So... Um, that thing is that. Then we got these buildings here. And then there's nothing on the waterfront until we get to that house, I think. That might be that big white building over there. And let's see, I am willing to guess that that is that one. There's a tower thingy up there. I think we're looking in here. Now the question is, is that tower thing identifiable? Or should we just bring this playthrough out of its misery and and get on with it? I have a feeling I might find myself in this predicament several times in this playthrough. Let's see. Um, let's go with that. That was worth it. That was worth it. Please don't give me a demoral. Oh yeah, the tower, of course. It's the it's the tower of the bridge, isn't it? Mm, right. Is that a church? No, it's not. It's something else. So what could that be then? Okay, so we're looking, and that's the new bridge. So, probably on one of these two streets then. Most likely this one. I think. Or... Hmm. Interesting one. Oh! Yikes! Okay. Oh, all right. So we are. So where are we on this one? I'm a little slightly doubtful of that. So, we got a tiny beach. Let's see if we can locate that statue of uh, Trilla Longcon. 
that building. Uh, it's not that, is it? No, oh, I keep looking at the wrong bridge. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh man. Uh. <laughs> this is the bridge we should be looking at. So we must have been, I guess, somewhere up here then. Let's see. So now checking out the statue of Chulalong Khan. Mm. So this one seems most like. Are we meeting up with the other road here? Why didn't I catch that street sign? But yeah, we are on this road. And... Yes, we're looking at this house. And... The... Uh, Easternmost corner of this, no, sorry, this building. Well, and boom, good. Oh, I've been down this road a few times. <laughs> yeah, so this is Nursem, a cement factory, and um, there are some mines here. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's chalk or whatever it is that they are extracting here, but, um, uh, or that they were extracting, so, no, we're not here, uh, but yeah, anyways, I remember driving past this place many times, and it's been, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a debate to know why where to store our special, uh, special, um, special wastes, particularly the stuff that can pose a hazard to to the environment if let out in the open. So they've been discussing whether to use the mines or the mine shafts here to store special wastes, but locals would have none of it, so I guess that's where the matter stands now. Now then, where is this factory bit? It's not that far up. So, hmm. I'm having slight issue with the localization here. That's a railroad bridge, but I don't think the railroad has been running here for a long time. So, let's see. Trusvik. So, are we here? Would make, some, would make the most sense as a Hillsweg. Uh, yes, we are. Right, so then the factory is here in this big empty space on the map, which is very helpful. Hmm. That's going to be a bit of a thing. Okay, so we should be around here, but that could very well be wrong. Yeah, we're more north than northeast, and that is more north than northeast. And the split in the road is down here. Let's go with that. No! I have to do a second round, and I did such a good job on that. <laughs> that C thing. Oh, well. Oh, well, let's have a look at... Let's have a further look at these winnowy streets. This is a right rabbit's warren, isn't it? Oh. Beautiful got Birch Street. And... 
Då så det Trosvikvägen. Yes. Så Trosvikvägen and Birch Street and um Here's the Tres okay, here's the Birch Street, so we are probably up here somewhere. And we did see in the road bridge there. So we are on the so the road bridge is to the west, that means we're here. About. Yep. And the next one. Oh. That was rather more rural than I've expected. We're looking eastwards. We're right on the limits, so I guess we must be up here somewhere. This seems like a likely location, but uh, let's see. Or even here. So this is the Brent Os Road, yes. That's that one. Here okay, about. Let's see, we have actually we here. That thing is that small building over there, and this white house here is that one, so we are there. Right. Well, I was disappointed with that one location by the factory, otherwise this was a pretty good effort. That one was really good, and uh, I just hope I won't have to do that again. Oh no! Oh no, no, no! Okay. Let's place it a bit further up this time then. Um, there. Whew. Please let's not have a repeat of Annabuck. That would be cruel. This must be the old train station. The trains no longer run here, but uh, Strömtangway and the current peninsula road. Is do they have a facility here? And that's uh, one of the Norwegian ice cream factories. That's the old bridge. So, Strömtangway, hmm. right? There's a crossroads here. So, what's the name of this? Torskebergvägen, the Cod Hill Road. Oh, that's here, right. Yeah, of course, because that's the old bridge. So that means we are here. Oh, move slightly down the road a bit. Look west to this old building. is us here. Good, good, good. Next one. Residential football field. That's always handy. So that's most likely up here. And we're looking northwest. That's my doubting my. Let's see, Kappavägen. That's Kappavägen, right? Yeah. So that is this house. And we are standing here. Mm hmm. You really, really, really like this location, don't you? I no, really, really, really don't. There. Oh, getting closer. And where are we now? Looking eastwards at some pier of some sort. That is actually a major pier and Hökas something. 
this should be possible to pinpoint. Uh, could be that one. Although, yeah, it actually could be, except we don't have that business over there, but that could be fairly recent. Okay, let's see if this road up here has a name. Ulrika Bakken. Where did I see that? Oh, here it is. Oh, so we're up here. Right. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> here the house is painted white. Still painted white. And go down here. It's what? Wasn't it painted a sort of grayish color in uh, some of the other shots here? There we go. So yeah, we are. Um, here. Right, well, that made quite up for the <laughs> performance of the first playthrough, so that is Brevik done in 4 minutes 27 seconds. Nice one. Right, Brevik done and dusted, two rounds it took me, but still, uh, I'm quite happy with that. Oy. And that leaves us with episode 109 in the bag. Please check in tomorrow for episode 110. Until then, bye bye.